Hi, I'm Shannon with the USS Constitution Museum. Today I'm going to show you how to build a tinfoil boat. And I also will set you a challenge on how much weight your boat will be able to hold. So come on, let's get started. So just like Joshua Humphreys uh, back in 1794, the shipbuilder and designer of the USS Constitution, we're going to make some design decisions while we build our ships. Uh, so you may want to think about, is it going to be long? Is it going to be short? Maybe it's going to be a little wide. Maybe the sides will be shorter. Maybe they make the sides higher. Those are all going to affect how your ship may float and be successful at sailing. So I'm going to go ahead and just start building, and I think I know what a ship will look like. And you go ahead and, and use your imagination and think how you would want your ship to be designed and be a successful battleship. All right, I'm going to go ahead and test it. So if it doesn't work out, that's okay, because the Constitution itself took three attempts to get launched. So keep trying again and again. If you need to redesign, take it out and do it again. So my ship is floating, so that is a good start. I don't see any water coming in, and it's ready for some weight. Start counting our pennies here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12, 13, 14, 15, now oh, it's looking good so far, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Wow, 20 pennies so far. I think I'll keep going to see how much my ship can hold. So remember, a working battleship like USS Constitution uh, needs a lot of crew members to make it work effectively and efficiently. It had over 450 sailors. And it also, to support those sailors, would need a lot of weight added to that to support their missions or their sails. We're thinking 50,000 pounds of water for the sailors, 84,000 pounds or so of bread or ship's biscuit, and don't forget the weight of the guns. The guns itself, or cannons, um, are going to be about 5,000 pounds each. So lots of weight added to this ship. So we need to make sure in our engineering that the ship can hold that weight. So let's go ahead and add some more. You go ahead at home and add some more weight too and see just how much weight your ship can hold. For more fun, please visit our website at ussCM.org.